here it is, almost Christmas again, and if I do say so myself, it's going to be a white one. Why, this is just about the coldest Christmas I can remember, and I can remember quite a few. That's Fritz and Marie over there. They live here, and they're waiting for the big event, the lighting of the Christmas tree, and naturally, the opening of the presents. That must be Judge Drosselmeyer now. She always stops by on Christmas Eve with a nice gift for the children. I wonder what gift she's brought by tonight. Oh, Judge Drosselmeyer, I just knew it would be you. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. It never seems like Christmas until you arrive. Well, thank you, children. And just wait to see what I've brought for you. Oh, do come in. You're just in time for the lighting of the Christmas tree. And the presents. There was one that was a lot nicer, Marie. That was long before you were born. I keep forgetting what a little kid you are. Now, now, children, let's be kind to each other, especially tonight. Christmas Eve is not the time for stirring up grievances. Oh, look, toy soldiers, just what I wanted. And a beautiful doll. And I have a little something here for you both. Let me see, what is it? Now, now, not so fast. Here, Marie, you may open it. Oh, what a dear little funny man. That's me she's talking about. Can you believe it? A dear little funny man. That's not exactly the way I see myself. Tall, dark, and handsome would be more like it. Oh well, I am a nutcracker. You see, what I do for a living is, I crack nuts. You put a walnut in my mouth, I bite down on it, and crack the shell. My dentist would like me to retire. Hard on the teeth, you know, but well, actually, I'm nuts about my work. <laughs> what is it? It's Nutcracker. You see, you put a nut in its mouth, bite down, and presto, the nut is cracked. Just like I said. Let me see it. Oh, Fritz, look what you've done. You've broken it. Oh, who cares? It didn't work right anyway. It was just a cheap jump. What an awful thing to say, Fritz. I agree. And you never even thank the judge. I'm sorry, Judge. I think it was a wonderful gift. Here, let me see if I can fix it for you. There, good as new. Oh, thank you, Judge. I'll take good care of him. I promise I will. Well, I must be going. Merry Christmas to the both of you. And the Nutcracker. Good night to you, too, Judge. Well, that was a close call, if I do say so myself. You weren't very nice tonight, Fritz. And on Christmas Eve, too. Oh! I wish you'd just leave me alone. I wish everyone would just leave me alone. I'm going to bed. I wish I didn't have to go to bed at all. I wish I could just stay here with you until Christmas morning. Say, I had no idea it was midnight already. I heard that some very strange things can happen at midnight. In fact, my old enemy, the Mouse King, sometimes makes an appearance with his army. I hope he drops by tonight, because if he does, I'm ready for him.
I guess I took care of him, if I do say so myself. Have I been asleep? I remember a battle, right here in this very room. And you, how did you get so tall? It's magic ring, anything can happen on Christmas Eve. In fact, the magic is just beginning. What do you say, Marie? Would you like to visit the Kingdom of Sweets? Oh yes, I'd love to go. Well, just close your eyes and we'll be off. Well, here we are in Kenny Meadow, and straight through that arch is the Kingdom of Sweets. Oh my, it's so beautiful. I can hardly believe my eyes. And what's that wonderful smell? If my nose is not mistaken, I'd say that smells like Russian tea cakes. They make them over in Cookie County. In fact, I believe the Russian bakers are making a delivery to the kingdom right now. for tasting later, Marie. Let's hurry now. Squish! 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 My, but the path is so sticky. That's because it's made of chocolate. Chocolate? Oh, it is chocolate. This place is just full of surprises, isn't it? Is that a pond over there? 
Yes, it is, but it's no ordinary pond. It's filled with root beer. Root beer? I love root beer. Nearly everybody loves root beer, Marie. In fact, this is such a wonderful place that the boys and girls who come here never want to go home. What boys and girls? I haven't seen any. Well, here they come right now to give you a big welcome. And I see they brought the candy flutes to play for you. Candy flutes? I do suppose they play very sweetly. Unless you happen to be on a diet. Well, I don't have to worry about that. At least not yet. Are you going to live here with us? Forever? Well, I'm not too sure. I'm afraid I'll miss my mother, my father, and maybe my brother Prince. But I'm not too sure about him yet. Anyways, I think I'm just a visitor. We'll come back soon. We love visitors. Oh, I will. I promise. Well, we must be off now. There's a lot to see and a lot of miles to cover before morning. Goodbye! Where are we going next? Well, we're on our way to Capital City Candyland. But first, we have to cross the Lemonade Sea and the Brown Sugar Desert before morning. Wait, you mean we're going to be up all night? But I'm not allowed to be up all night. No one will ever know, Marie. Remember, this is a magical Christmas Eve. Let's hurry now.
almost, Marie. Say, isn't it a beautiful night? Why, that marshmallow moon looks good enough to eat. Is the moon really made of marshmallow? It certainly is, and I'm sure it tastes as good as it looks. It's not much farther. That's Cookie County, just over there. Mmm, Cookie County. I bet that's a wonderful place to live. Well, perhaps, but no one ever gets anything done in Cookie County. Why not? Because they spend all their time having tea parties and tasting wonderful new kinds of cookies and teas. In fact, the only business open is a Chinese tea shop. Chinese tea is the most popular drink in all of Cookie County. challenging if I do say so myself. Why that must be the entrance to the capital city, Candyland. It certainly is. And that garden just inside the city is very beautiful. Why look, the flowers are coming towards us. They seem to be alive. <laughs> Sweet perfume. 
welcome to Candyland, Marie. We're glad to have you visit. Oh, thank you. It's wonderful to be here, especially on Christmas Eve. Speaking of Christmas Eve, Marie, I'm afraid we'll have to go now. The magic hour is nearly past. I must have fallen asleep, but what an interesting dream. You were in there, little nutcracker, but you were ever so much taller and very handsome. Why, thank you, Marie. Sometime soon, I'll tell you all about my wonderful visit to the Kingdom of Sweets. It's the most marvelous place I've ever seen. I look forward to hearing all about it, Marie. I'm sure it's every bit as grand as you dreamed. If I do say so myself. <laughs> 